Hi there guys, how are you doing? This is your friend and tutor Manas and guys today we're going to be taking up second problem based on hyperbola. So let's see how it goes. Here we go. Two straight lines OA and OP make an angle of 75 degrees between them. P is a point 40 mm from OA and 50 mm from OP. Draw a hyperbola through P with OA and OP as asymptotes uh, marking at least 10 points. All right. So we have a problem in front of us. So initially we're going to draw two straight lines at an angle of 75 degrees between them. And uh, along that plane, somewhere along that plane, we're going to have a point 40 mm from one line and 50 mm from the other. All right. So let's see how it works out. So let's draw two lines at an angle of 75 degrees. Okay. So this is OA and this over here is OP. Let's have a point. There you go. Now this distance, let me see how much this is. Okay, so this is the point P and we're going to have dimension. So the distance of point P from this OP is 50 millimeters and the distance of point P from this OA line is 40 millimeters. So there is one more easier way to locate this point P. You can go 50 steps along this line and then travel 40 steps towards the right hand side in a very horizontal sort of a way. All right, so we have this point P and through this point P, you're going to have to draw a hyperbola. So how can that be done? Let's see. So we're going to make points one centimeter apart from uh, towards the right of point P, something like this. Okay. Let's see how many points do we have? Four points. All right. And then one, two, three, that's it. So I've made seven points. You guys can make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven points along this line. And you can have as many as five points along this line. No issues. You can always increase the number of points. All right. The one more thing that I've done is I've kept the spacing between those points as one centimeter now the next step i'm going to join all of these points with this point over here that is o the intersection of these two lines all right first okay then this then this and then over here and then uh this sort of line we have okay over here over here all right now we're going to have a line parallel to this line over here let's see, let's see how it works out you're going to have a horizontal and you're going to have a, not a vertical line, but a line which is parallel to this line over here. So the best way to do this is have a horizontal line with the help of a drafter. All right. And then keep your mini drafter along this line. Okay. Tighten the screw, bring it over here and then draw a line. Right. Now, again, let us do this again for this point. This is the intersection point. Let's have a horizontal line from this point. All right. And then we're going to have a line which is parallel to this line or which is parallel to OA or a line which is at an angle of 75 degrees to be very specific. So we're going to have a line from this point over here. All right. So that's the point. Similarly, you're going to have a horizontal from here and a line which is parallel to OA from here. Again, a horizontal from here. Again, a line which is parallel to OA. So we've got as many as four different points for this hyperbola. OK, and now we're going to go ahead for this point and we're going to move horizontally towards the left hand side, something like this, and then upwards okay but parallel to oa this way horizontally towards the left upwards parallel to oa horizontally towards the left and then upwards parallel to oa and there you have all the points in the form of p1 p2 p3 p4 p5 p6 p7 right and when you join all these points in proper sequence with the help of a smooth curve this red color curve is what you call or what you refer to as a hyperbola. I'll be taking up some more problems based on conic section and to be very specific on hyperbola. Until then, it's a wrap for today. This is Manas Patnaik signing off. Take care, have a great day and keep drawing.